The 1970 FIFA World Cup was the ninth FIFA World Cup, the quadrennial international football championship for men's national teams. Held from 31 May to 21 June in Mexico, it was the first World Cup tournament staged in North America, and the first held outside Europe and South America. Teams representing 75 nations from all six populated continents entered the competition, and its qualification rounds began in May 1968. Fourteen teams qualified from this process to join host nation Mexico and defending champions England in the 16-team final tournament. El Salvador, Israel and Morocco made their first appearances at the final stage. The tournament was won by Brazil, which defeated another two-time former champion, Italy, 4–1 in the final in Mexico City. The win gave Brazil its third World Cup title, which allowed them to permanently keep the Jules Rimet Trophy, and a new trophy was introduced in 1974. The victorious team, led by Carlos Alberto and featuring players such as Pelé, Gerson, Gersinho, Rivellino, and Tostao, is often cited as the greatest ever World Cup team. They achieved a perfect record of wins in all six games in the finals, as well as winning all their qualifying fixtures. Despite the issues of altitude and high temperature, the finals largely produced attacking football, which created an average goals per game record not since bettered by any subsequent World Cup finals. With the advancements in satellite communications, the 1970 finals attracted a new record television audience for the FIFA World Cup as games were broadcast live around the world and, for the first time, in color. <laughs> <laughs> Host selection Argentina, Australia, Colombia, Japan, Mexico and Peru were all considered to host the 1970 FIFA World Cup. Mexico was chosen as the host nation in 1964 through a vote at FIFA's Congress in Tokyo on 8 October, ahead of the only other submitted bid from Argentina. The tournament became the first World Cup hosted in North America, and the first to be staged outside South America and Europe. Mexico later became the first country to host the FIFA World Cup twice when it stepped in to stage the 1986 event after the original host selection, Colombia, suffered financial problems. Topic: <laughs> Qualification. A total of 75 teams entered the 1970 FIFA World Cup, and 73 were required to qualify. Due to rejected entries and withdrawals, 68 teams eventually participated in the qualifying stages, including eight for the first time. Mexico as the host nation and England as reigning World Cup champions were granted automatic qualification, with the remaining 14 finals places divided among the continental confederations. Eight places were available to teams from UEFA Europe, three for CONMEBOL South America, one for CAF Africa, one for a team from either the AFC or the OFC Asia, Oceania, and one for CONCACAF North and Central America and Caribbean. A place in the finals for an African representative was guaranteed for the first time, as a response to the mass boycott of the qualifying process for 1966 by the African entrants after FIFA linked Africa, Asia and Oceania together with only one qualifying place on offer. The draw for the qualifying stages was conducted on 1 February 1968 in Casablanca, Morocco, with matches beginning in May 1968 and the final fixtures being concluded in December 1969. North Korea, quarter-finalists at the previous tournament, were disqualified during the process after refusing to play in Israel for political reasons. El Salvador qualified for the finals after beating Honduras in a playoff match, which was the catalyst for a four-day conflict in July 1969 known as the Football War. Half of the eventual qualifying teams had also been present at the previous World Cup, but three teams qualified for the first time, El Salvador, Israel and Morocco, while Peru, Romania, Belgium and Sweden made their first World Cup appearances since 1930, 1938, 1954 and 1958 respectively. Czechoslovakia was also back after missing the 1966 World Cup. Those who failed to qualify included Argentina in their only qualifying failure as of 2018, France, Hungary, 1966 semi-finalists Portugal and Spain. Topic: List of qualified teams. 
The following 16 teams qualified for the final tournament. Topic: Venues. Five stadiums in five cities were selected to host the World Cup matches. Alternative venues in Hidalgo State and the port city of Veracruz were also considered. Each group was based solely in one city with exception of Group 2, which was staged in both Puebla and Toluca. Aside from the Estadio Luis Dosal, all the stadia had only been constructed during the 1960s. As Mexico prepared to host both the World Cup and the 1968 Summer Olympics, the altitude of the venues varied and the importance of acclimatization was strongly considered by all the participating teams. As a result, in contrast to the previous tournament staged in England, most teams arrived in the region well in advance of their opening fixtures to prepare for this factor. Some teams had already experienced the local conditions when competing in the football competition at 1968 Summer Olympics. At an elevation in excess of 2,660 metres 8 feet above sea level, Toluca was the highest of the venues, Guadalajara was the lowest at 1,500 metres 4 in addition to the altitude, all five locations had hot and rainy weather where temperatures would regularly go past 32 degrees Celsius 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Of the five stadia used for the 32 matches played, the largest and most used venue was the Azteca Stadium in Mexico City, which hosted ten total matches including the final and third place matches, and all of Group 1's matches which included all of host Mexico's matches. The Jalisco Stadium in Guadalajara hosted eight matches including all of Group 3's matches and a semi-final. The Now Camp Stadium in Lyon hosted seven matches, which consisted of all of Group 4's matches and a quarter-final match. The Luis Dosal Stadium in Toluca hosted four matches, and Cuauhtémoc Stadium in Puebla hosted three matches and was the only stadium of the five used for this tournament not to host any knockout rounds. Final draw Although it was reported in the build-up to the final draw that seedings would be used, as had been the case at the previous two World Cup finals, the FIFA organizing committee ultimately announced that there would be no seeding of teams. Instead, the 16 teams were divided into four geographical groupings, which also took into account the team's strengths and even political considerations. The system ensured that Israel and Morocco would not be drawn to face each other after Morocco had earlier threatened to withdraw from the tournament, as they had done from the Olympic football tournament two years earlier, if that were the case. The draw was staged in Mexico City, Mexico on 10 January 1970 in the Maria Isabel Hotel, which served as FIFA's headquarters during the competition. The teams were drawn into the four groups, which had their locations defined in advance, Group 1 being staged in Mexico City, Group 2 in Puebla and Toluca, Group 3 in Guadalajara and Group 4 in León. It was predetermined that the hosts Mexico would be in Group 1 and so based in the capital city, and that England as holders would be based in Guadalajara, the tournament's second largest stadium. The 10-year-old daughter of Guillermo Canedo, president of the Mexican Football Federation and the local organizing committee, drew out the teams from four silver cups. <laughs> <laughs> Match officials. Topic. Squads For a list of all squads that appeared in the final tournament, see 1970 FIFA World Cup squads. Topic. Tournament review Topic. Group stage Following the opening ceremony host nation Mexico faced the Soviet Union, this was the last time until the 2006 World Cup that the host nation's first match rather than the World Cup holders began the tournament. Both this opening match of Group 1 and many others during the competition kicked off at noon for the benefit of European television schedules, meaning play under the midday sun. The match produced a goalless draw, prompting some media to predict the entire tournament would be played at the slow tempo that featured in this game given the conditions involved. 
Following the half-time interval Anatoly Puzik became the first substitute to be used in FIFA World Cup history as the Soviets made use of the new competition rule. Both teams won their remaining two games to progress from the group at the expense of Belgium and World Cup debutants El Salvador. Group 2 was the lowest scoring of the groups with only six goals in its six matches as Uruguay, reigning South America champions, and Italy, the reigning European champions, edged past Sweden and Israel. Sweden would have progressed if they had produced a two-goal victory against Uruguay in their final game, but it was not until the final minute that they scored the only goal of the game. Hours before the game FIFA elected to replace the scheduled referee after bribery rumors, later dismissed by FIFA, arose in Mexico. The 1–0 result meant Uruguay advance, to be joined by Italy after they avoided defeat in the group finale against Israel. Owing to the lack of a seeding system, Group 3 allowed the reigning World Cup holders England to be paired together with the two-time former champion Brazil, considered by many the pre-tournament favourites for the trophy. England's preparations were hampered by the arrest of their captain Bobby Moore in Colombia for allegedly stealing a bracelet from a jeweler's shop. The charges were later dropped. The attitude of their manager Alf Ramsey and the English media in general was perceived by many locals as unfriendly and xenophobic toward Mexico's hosting of the competition, which meant the English team received a largely hostile response during the competition, with both having won their opening games, against Czechoslovakia and Romania, respectively. Brazil met England in the group's most famed match. Although Gordon Banks in the English goal denied Pelé from close range with a reflex save that Pelé himself cited as the greatest of his career, a second half goal from Jairzinho won the match for Brazil, after which England squandered several excellent opportunities to equalise. Both teams then won their final group games to progress to the knockout stage. Play in Group 4 began with Bulgaria taking a two goal lead against Peru, but a second half comeback gave the South Americans a 3 2 victory. Morocco, the first African World Cup representative since 1934, also began strongly by taking the lead against the 1966 runners-up West Germany, but the Germans came back to win 2–1. West Germany also went behind against Bulgaria in their second match, but a Gerd Müller hat-trick helped them recover and win 5–2. The eventual Golden Boot winner Müller hit another hat-trick, the only hat-tricks of the entire tournament. To win the group against Peru. Topic. Knockout stage Topic. Quarterfinals Mexico and the Soviet Union had finished tied at the top of Group 1 on both points and goal difference, meaning that the drawing of lots was required to rank them. On 12 June, the draw allocated the Soviet Union the group winner's berth, meaning that they would face Uruguay at the Estadio Azteca, while the host nation were paired against Italy in the smaller Toluca venue. Mexican officials unsuccessfully appealed to FIFA to stage their game in the capital to avoid traffic problems. The hosts took the lead against Italy with a José Luis González goal, but his teammate Javier Guzman equalized with an own goal before half-time. Italy then dominated the second half to progress to the semi-finals with a 4–1 win. The Soviet Union were also eliminated in their quarter-final when a Victor Esparago header three minutes from the end of extra time sent Uruguay through. The Soviets believed that during the Uruguay attack a ball had crossed touchline and stopped playing while their opponents continued playing and scored. The All-South America tie in Guadalajara was the highest scoring of the four quarter-finals as Brazil recorded a 4–2 triumph over Peru. A rematch of the previous World Cup final between England and West Germany took place in Lyon, in which the reigning champions entered a two-goal lead. Franz Beckenbauer halved the deficit when his low shot beat England's second-choice goalkeeper Peter Benetti, playing after Gordon Banks suffered food poisoning the day before. Eight minutes from time and Uwe Seeler header leveled the score. At 2–2, however, Hurst had a legitimate goal ruled out for offside. An extra time goal from Gerd Müller brought West Germany's first ever competitive victory over England. The national embarrassment of losing against Germany is believed to have played a significant role in the surprise defeat of Harold Wilson's government in the United Kingdom general election, 1974 days later. Semi-finals 
All four of the semi-finalists were former world champions, with the lineup guaranteeing a final between Europe and South America. In the all-South American tie, controversially switched from the capital to the lower altitude of Guadalajara, Brazil came from behind to defeat Uruguay 3–1 and earn the right to contest their fourth World Cup final. Two Brazilian goals in the final 15 minutes decided a match that had been evenly matched until that point. The all-European meeting between Italy and West Germany produced a match regarded by many as one of the greatest World Cup games of all time. Having led from the eighth minute through Roberto Bonanzena's strike, Italy were pegged back in injury time when sweeper Karl Heinz Schnellinger scored his only international goal. Extra time brought five more goals as the lead swung between the two sides until Gianni Rivera gave the Azzurri a decisive 4 3 lead. The match subsequently became known as the Game of the Century and today has a monument outside the Estadio Azteca to commemorate it. West Germany went on to defeat Uruguay 1–0 in the third-place match. <inaudible> Finals In the final, Brazil opened the scoring when Pelé headed in a cross from Rivellino in the 18th minute, but Roberto Bonanzenha equalised for Italy after a series of blunders in the Brazilian defence. The match remained level until the 66th minute when a powerful shot from Gerson restored the Brazilians' lead. Further goals from Jairzinho and Carlos Alberto rewarded Brazil's attacking play and secured a 4–1 victory and a record third World Cup triumph, which earned them the right to permanently keep the Jules Rimet trophy. <laughs> Legacy Both the Brazilian team that were crowned champions of the 1970 World Cup and the tournament itself have become regarded as among the very finest in the history of the FIFA World Cup. In contrast to the more physical style of play that had dominated the previous two tournaments, the 1970 finals are noted for the attacking play adopted by most teams. For the first time at a World Cup finals, referees could issue yellow and red cards a system that is now commonplace at every level of football worldwide, yet, in contrast to the previous tournaments besides the 1950 edition and all subsequent tournaments to date, no player was expelled from play. The officiating of the opening match, commentated by some media as overly strict, set a standard of discipline that instead helped protect skillful players in accordance with FIFA's stated wish. The tournament's average of 2.97 goals per game set a level not since bettered. The eventual champions Brazil, led by Carlos Alberto, and featuring Pelé, Clodoaldo, Gerson, Jairzinho, Rivellino, and Tostao, is often cited as the greatest ever World Cup team. They won all of their six games on the way to the title, and had also won every one of their qualifying fixtures. Jairzinho's feat of scoring in every finals match likewise has yet to be equaled. Coach Mario Zagallo became the first man to win the World Cup as both a player 1958, 1962, and coach. This was the first World Cup to use the Telstar ball from Adidas. The Adidas firm has supplied every World Cup match ball starting with this one, and has continued to do so since, introduced as the Telstar Erlast for the 1968 European Football Championship. The Telstar was the first World Cup ball to use the now familiar truncated icosahedron for its design, consisting of 12 black pentagonal and 20 white hexagonal panels. The 32-panel configuration had been introduced in 1962 by Select Sport, and was also used in the official logo for the 1970 World Cup. The black and white pattern, to aid visibility on black and white television broadcasts which was still commonplace then, as color television was rare in many parts of the world, was also well established before the Telstar. The name came from the Telstar communications satellite, which was roughly spherical and dotted with solar panels, somewhat similar in appearance to the football. <laughs> Merchandise. Forming a partnership with FIFA in 1970, Panini published its first FIFA World Cup sticker album for the 1970 World Cup, initiating a global craze for collecting and trading stickers. In 2017, a complete 1970 World Cup Panini sticker album signed by Pelé sold for a record £10,450. Results.
Topic: <laughs> Group stage. The first round or group stage saw the 16 teams divided into four groups of four teams. Each group was a round robin of six games, where each team played one match against each of the other teams in the same group. Teams were awarded two points for a win, one point for a draw and none for a defeat. The teams finishing first and second in each group qualified for the quarter-finals, while the bottom two teams in each group were eliminated from the tournament. Tie-breaking criteria Greater number of points in all group matches Goal difference in all group matches replacing the previous usage of goal average Drawing of lots by the FIFA organizing committee Topic. Group 1 Note, having finished level on both points and goal difference, the Soviet Union and Mexico were separated by the drawing of lots. Topic. Group 2 Topic. Group 3 Topic Group Four Topic Knockout Stage The eight teams that had advanced from the group stage entered a single elimination style tournament, which also featured a third place playoff contested between the two losing semi finalists. In this knockout stage, including the final, if a match was level at the end of 90 minutes, extra time of two periods, 15 minutes each, would be played. In matches prior to the final, if the score was still level after extra time, then a coin toss by the referee would determine the winner. If the final was still level after 120 minutes play, then the match would instead be replayed at a later date. All times listed local, UTC -6. Topic Quarter Finals Topic Semi Finals Topic Match for Third Place Topic Final Topic Statistics Topic Goal Scorers With ten goals, Gerd Muller was the top scorer in the tournament. In total, ninety-five goals were scored by fifty-five players, with only one of them credited as own goal. Ten goals, Gerd Muller seven goals. Jezinho 5 goals Teofilo Kabilas 4 goals Pelé Anatoly Byshovets 3 goals Rivolino Luigi Riva Uva Sila 2 goals 1 goal 1 own goal Topic <laughs> Awards Golden Boot, Gerd Müller, West Germany. Best Young Player, awarded retrospectively, Teofilo Kabilas, Peru. FIFA Fair Play Trophy, Peru. Topic: <laughs> FIFA Retrospective Ranking. In 1986, FIFA published a report that ranked all teams in each World Cup up to and including 1986, based on progress in the competition, overall results and quality of the opposition. The rankings for the 1970 tournament were as follows Asterisk listed as number 13 in one of the sources Asterisk Asterisk listed as number 12 in one of the sources <laughs>